So the big concern today has been the fire danger in the hill country. Here's why in our far western areas such as Mason and San Saba, you can see just how much of a difference the weather is there. The air is so much drier. The relative humidity is in the single digits. Not just very low humidity, but it's been breezy. While the wind gusts are down now in the teens and 20s, they were as high as gusting into the 30s earlier today. And in fact, the Texas A&M Forestry Service does not give the go-ahead to do prescribed burns if winds are above 23 miles per hour. Our own Caitlin Carmood has been out in the hill country today talking with firefighters about how they prepare for days like this. I'm here in Marble Falls where you can see several agencies posted up and ready to go. That's Texarkana traveling five, six hours to be here today. I found out this training doesn't happen days, but months in advance. We prepare for Southern Plains outbreaks every year. When the rain doesn't come, but the dry dormant grass, low humidity and high winds do, the Texas Forest Service activates TIFMAS. It stands for the Texas Interstate Fire Mutual Aid System. We have two dozer units from the Smithville Task Force. Dozer units ready to cut in and out of a fire if it does break. And staging areas in Smithville and Fredericksburg. They're also equipped with air tankers and helicopters. This is some of the strongest fire potential that we've seen statewide um, in at least three years now. You know, I explained it to my firefighters this morning when we had our safety briefing is just that, uh, that the conditions are very, very dangerous to the point that a slight error in judgment could be costly to the firefighters. Burdett County resources split into a north and south task force. They're also in contact with Blanco and Llano counties. And Horseshoe Bay's chief says fighting fire comes down to everyone being weather aware. I just like to promote the FireWise program for communities uh, to consider. Uh, again, we've seen great success with that in Horseshoe Bay. The Fireways program teaches communities how to reduce their wildfire risk through creating defensible space and action plans in advance. Caitlin Carmo, KXCN News. So to give you a little more depth about how serious a situation this is, the Forestry Service points out how normally a National Weather Service meteorologist stays at the office. The agency will relay information to them from the scene, but if they are really large fires, the National Weather Service will assign an incident meteorologist to the field and work the command post there.